Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and today I have a little bit of a different Minecraft news video. I'm not going to be talking about brand new Minecraft stuff coming in the future, but instead what I have is a very interesting Minecraft story that I wanted to kind of talk about because it's very strange. So the story is that the Turkish government are looking into banning Minecraft. Around about a month ago, they announced that they were going to look into it because they'd been getting lots of reports on the game's violence. I heard this story and thought, ha ha ha, that's pretty funny, but I didn't really think it was going anywhere because as we all know, Minecraft is one of the least violent games out there right now. When you compare it to all the other first person shooters where you literally mow down people with a gun and there's, there's GTA where you could just murder civilians there's all these games where you do these horrible horrible you know in-game things of course uh, but you know you hear all that sort of stuff and you think yeah there's no way Minecraft's gonna be banned but instead what they did is they put their family and social policies ministry uh, to investigate the game they took a month to do it and after that month-long investigation into Minecraft the game we all know and love what they determined was that the game was too violent and they're gonna work on now you know uh, you know actually getting the ban into force and they're working on the instructions on how that whole thing's going to work and it looks like it's going to go through. The only thing that won't put it into force is if the Turkish courts, you know, kind of uh, ban it down which I hope would happen but, you know, from what I can tell this looks very likely to go through and it looks like Minecraft is going to be banned in Turkey and the statement they had with that is although the game can be seen as encouraging creativity in children by letting them build houses, farmlands and bridges mobs uh, must be killed in order to protect these structures. In short, the game is based on violence. And it's like they literally just defeated the point of their own argument in this statement. And I just want to kind of talk about what's going on here. As well as, of course, what this means for you. Because a lot of people are like, oh no, this is bad news. But first of all, this isn't going to spread anywhere else. No one's going to hear about this and think anything good. Because all the gaming sites, you know, I'm reading off an IGN right now. All of the gaming sites that I've seen so far have had a big backlash against it. Like, no one thinks this is a good idea. And even some sources inside Turkey uh, someone mentioned Turkey is going to be the first country to ban Minecraft. That doesn't make it a smart decision. There's a bunch of people all over the place that are, you know, backlashing against this. This isn't going anywhere but Turkey. But uh, to quickly kind of finish up on what, you know, the health uh, ministry said or the uh, family and social ministry said is they reported that the, they're concerned that children may confuse the game world with the real one and start torturing animals. So it's really confusing that they would say all of this together. And I think to, to me, it just strikes me as something where it's like they, they delegated one guy to do it and then... And on like, you know, 12 hours for the deadline, he's like, oh, I was doing that report. Okay, uh, game's violent. Uh, let me see. You can build a house. But on the other hand, there's these big creepers. They blow up your house. That's bad. But if I had to guess the real kind of underlying cause behind what's going on here, what the whole thing's about, uh, it looks like from what I can tell uh, looking up other stuff about Turkey, they're kind of a reactionary country. If you don't know, they're not secular. So their church and their state are kind of the same thing. I don't entirely understand it. But basically, they're not a secular country and they just kind of react to stuff. For instance, their army, they're not allowed to watch Game of Thrones in case they get too many fooled in that. And it looks like, yeah, they see something big they react to, which is why Minecraft, the biggest game in the world, someone said it was violent, someone kind of agreed with them, and the game is technically violent. You do technically kill stuff, and I guess someone, you know, just, it went up the chain, no one's saying no, and it looks like it's going like that. However, I do think this ban is pretty much worthless. It's just kind of a way of, you know, giving us a whole thing to look at and be like, that's an example of something to do wrong, because first of all, Microsoft have responded. They said, the world of Minecraft can be a dangerous place. It's inhabited by scary, genderless monsters that come out at night. It may be necessary to defend against them to survive. If people find this level of fantasy conflict upsetting, we encourage them to play in creative mode or enable a peaceful setting. And they prove a very good point. You can just play in creative or peaceful, where that's not an issue. And I really think, even if the ban doesn't get struck down at some point, which I think, it, you know, it's going to have to at some point, even if it doesn't, how are they going to enforce a ban on blocking Minecraft? Because it's out on so many devices, in so many ways, and they have no way to really stop you. I, it's just not really that much of an issue. So so, Turkey just revealed how silly they are today. They made a lot of hypocritical statements, and it's a good example of the rest of the world not, not uh, what not to do. If you're in Turkey right now, I'm very sorry I criticised your country, but I'm sure you agree with me. You watch, you like Minecraft, you don't understand why they're banning it, and I guess the easiest way to look at this is to say, ha ha ha, that's a funny story. So I hope you enjoyed this news video. If you liked it, please do like it and let me know. Like I said, it's very different to what I usually do, so hopefully that is something you did actually enjoy. Uh, liking it's a good way to let me know that. Share it if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I do a bunch of Minecraft news that usually isn't on Minecraft in Turkey. It's usually Minecraft everywhere in the world. So thank you for watching and goodbye.